Hey everybody, it's Chris D for PC Addicts. This video we're going to use this flash drive here um, as extra memory for our old laptop over here. See if we can get a better performance out of Windows 7 on an old laptop. Chris D, let's go! PC Addicts, yeah. Okay, now what we got here is, this is an old HP, a slow old Centrino, uh, built to run on XP, so you know it's older, it's got 512 megs of RAM in it, and um, we're going to go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Okay, right now there's nothing on the drive. If there's something on the drive, you can either format it or, um, you know, just set it up for ready boost and it'll do its thing too. Oops. Okay, there we go. So now it's plugged in. Comes up. The automatic prompt comes up, says, What do you want to do with it? You know, you got the typical open a folder to view files. You got to use this drive for backup or speed up my system using ReadyBoost. You can either do this or you can go into your start menu, go to my computer, right click on the USB drive, flash drive, go to properties and you get the same thing. So you got a ReadyBoost tab here. Now if the if the USB flash drive supports it, not all of them support it, if it supports it, if I think if it's decent enough uh, read write speeds, I'm not sure, uh, then you'll have this option you'll be able to use this. So our options are do not use a device, dedicate this device to ReadyBoost, or use this device. Now like, let's say you want to still use the device as storage and you want to use part of it as ReadyBoost, you can use this device and you can tell it how much space to reserve for that. I'm just going to use the entire thing. Granted, I know it's not going to be able to read the entire 4 gigs and all that stuff because it's 32-bit and all this stuff, but I'm just going to use it all. Hit OK. It's configuring and now it's working and if you look down here it's flashing okay it's doing stuff when you first set it up it's got to learn it basically learns your habits learns kind of what you open up and it starts storing s certain things in certain ways um, so as you use it more and more it will speed up and be able to give you a little bit better experience depending on how you use the computer um, now what I want to do is say, okay, do, do we really know it's working? We know that there's a little LED or a little light down there flashing. It means it's doing stuff to it, but how do you know it's like really doing something? Well, there's not a real easy way. I think there's some third-party utilities you can get, but um, let's just use some basic stuff. Okay, if we go to start, okay, if we go to start, we type in PERF mon for performance monitor. Hit enter. Okay, it brings you up with the default performance monitor here. What I want to do is click on performance monitor, and the default one just shows the percentage of processor time. Let's uncheck that. We don't care about that at the moment. What we want to do is see uh, if there's any ready boost. Is there any data getting actually written to it and everything? So let's hit that little add sign here. This is to add counters. What we want to do is scroll down. There's a Ready Boost Cache section. If you expand that, all of them are highlighted. All the different options you can monitor are highlighted. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to add it down here at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to hit Add. Over here, it shows asterisk, meaning all of them in that section under the Ready Boost Cache, and then hit OK. Now, as you can see down here below, here's our different uh, counters, individual counters for this. And on our actual chart here, you can see the blue is compression ratio, um, the yellow is total cache size and bytes. Now watch, watch it as I open documents and everything. Here, that's going to be a little big. Let's minimize that so you can see. Now you can see there's a big spike in one of them. I don't know. I think that's the something. Who knows? Uh, let's close it. And let's open it again. Let's go to my computer. Let's open up uh, documents. Uh, I don't know what else. Sticky notes. How about sticky notes? Who actually uses sticky notes? I don't know. But you can see in the in the little bar graph here. Delete note. Yes. It is doing stuff. That's a good indication that. It, it's working and you can actually feel it on an old laptop like this if I wasn't running the ready boost man this thing would be so so slow but I mean look and I'm dragging the window I mean you can really slim this down a little bit more and when you drag a window around 
make it so it doesn't show the actual contents. That actually helps quite a bit with performance, but I just wanted to show you. I mean, this is an old laptop running Windows 7, and we can look at, you know, Task Manager and just see how the performance is. And it's still showing that there's only 512 megs of RAM, but because that's the actual physical, the, the actual RAM that's installed, but you can see that that USB thumb drive is being used, it's being accessed, being written to, and as time goes on, it will be written to and used more and more as it learns your habits, from what I've read. <laughs> so that's just a good way of actually checking out whether or not this ReadyBoost stuff is working and, um, and helping. And, you know, I find it helps in a situation like this. Now, if you have a decent machine already, uh, I don't know if I'd go about doing it. I think there's a max limit that it can actually utilize. And if you look at the drive, let's go to my computer, it just creates a file called ReadyBoost. You can see there's 3.8 gigs. I think it's working, and I think it's doing a pretty decent job. Hopefully this video helped you out.